Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and did you know that there is a hierarchical order to the feast days that we celebrate in the church? We go from saints who have optional celebrations, called optional memorials, to obligatory memorials, to feasts, and then to the highest celebrations, solemnities. In the past, today was the obligatory memorial of St. Mary Magdalene, but Pope Francis has changed it to a feast, which means that we will pray the Gloria at Mass and must use special readings. Why did Pope Francis consider St. Mary Magdalene so important that she should have a feast just like the Twelve Apostles? The answer is really quite simple, and it can be found in how tradition, including St. Thomas Aquinas, and both popes, St. John Paul II and Benedict, have referred to St. Mary Magdalene. They call her the Apostle to the Apostles because she was the first to receive the message of Jesus' resurrection, and then he sent her to tell that good news to the Apostles. It makes sense that the Apostle to the Apostles would have a feast on the same level as the Apostles. Here's part of a working translation of the preface, which will be used at Mass when we celebrate her feast. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, whose mercy is no less than his power to preach the gospel to everyone through Christ our Lord. In the garden, he appeared to Mary Magdalene, who loved him in life, who witnessed his death on the cross, who sought him as he lay in the tomb, who was the first to adore him when he rose from the dead, and whose apostolic duty was honored by the apostles so that the good news of life might reach the ends of the earth. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts.